Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith. We've got Summer here in the stroller, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the outdoor activities I do with Summer. She is six weeks old, so she is still a teeny tiny little baby, and it's currently summertime, obviously. And when I first brought her home, I wasn't exactly sure what types of activities I could do with her other than obviously walk her in the stroller. This is kind of an obvious one, but I have a few other little outdoor activities that we've been doing and really loving and just enjoying the weather together outside. I saw a post on Instagram the other day that made me so sad, but also made me realize how important it is to just soak up these summer months with your babies. I'll pop it up here on the screen so you can see it, but basically it says you only have 18 summers with your little ones, so make sure you make them count. So I thought that this would be a good video idea for any of you who have newborns at home. And you might be wondering what exactly you could be doing with your newborn outside other than just taking them on walks. But taking them on walks in the stroller is a great idea, so we're starting with that. I normally do this in the morning with summer because it's pretty hot once it gets into the afternoon, so I wanna make sure when we go outside in the afternoon, the activities we do are all in the shade, whereas when you go on a walk, you can't really control that. So I normally take her on walks in the morning and she seemed to really enjoy them. Oh no, you lost a sake. You probably don't even need those. It's so nice out. It's so nice out. I normally prepare myself a little smoothie to drink on the way for breakfast. I have just blueberries, strawberries, macadamia nut milk and some protein powder in there and that way I get the nutrition I need while taking her on her little walk. This cover that I have over the stroller is a mosquito net cover. It also protects from any blowing leaves, um, any just like debris flying around if it's windy. I really like it. I will link it down below. I've talked about it before. I think I put it in my newborn essentials video. I really like having it on there. It just gives me peace of mind that no bugs are going to get in there and that no leaves or anything is going to fly in, and, in there and hit her. As you can probably hear, there's dogs barking and there's a lot of different sounds, crickets, bugs. She loves it all. She just loves the noisiness, I think. She loves all of the noises. I can tell that she's kind of just like looking around here. You can see her. Oh, we got a little poke. Here. I always put a little burp cloth underneath her because when she lays back, she tends to throw up a little bit. Yeah, do we like the walks? <laughs> But as I was saying, she loves all the noises, like the crickets and the birds and the dogs. It's really good for them, I think, to get outside, feel the breeze, and just hear all those noises. She's not really a newborn that falls asleep in the stroller. I know that there are, well, I think it's probably most babies <laughs> will fall asleep in the stroller. I don't know why she doesn't. She just never has fallen asleep in the stroller. She always is wide awake, soaking everything in. It's also really good exercise for you as well. Walking is a super great postpartum workout. Here, let's take your other Saki off. You want both, both feet free? Yeah, okay. Let's let those toes free. She hates having the sun in her face, which I don't blame her. So when we're going in a direction where this shade on her bassinet doesn't cover her, I kind of just make sure my body covers the sun and gives her some shade. In case you were wondering, this is the Maxi Cozy stroller. I will link it down below the specific one that this one is. This is the little bassinet that you can attach to it, but you can also attach the car seat to it. I haven't mastered how to do all that yet. I haven't actually taken her in her stroller like out in public to a mall or anything. I mean, I have taken her out to the store and put her uh, car seat right in the cart, but I just haven't regularly put it in this stroller yet. First time mom here. I don't know how to do these things yet. <laughs> The next little outdoor activity we like to do every day is to take this mat that I have here. It kind of zips up into a bag, but it's a big waterproof blanket, basically. We take this out into the shade and just kind of lay on it and look up at the trees. It's super fun. It's hard to do one-handed, but I'm gonna attempt it. <laughs> okay, I was able to unzip it and lay it out one-handed. It wasn't too hard. 
We just relax and she loves to just look up at the leaves. I will show you. Let me get down here with you. This is what we see. Is that very interesting? I think she just loves to look at the leaves and the contrast of it with the sky. <laughs> so this is what we do. We just kind of hang out. We lay here. We look up at the leaves. She just likes the breeze and likes to look up at the leaves and hang out. I might start bringing out like books to read or something, I'm not really sure. Hello, she loves to grab my hair. But yeah, I love this mat because it's waterproof, so if she spits up on it, it's not a big deal. I will try to find it and link it down below. I'm sure they have them on Amazon. What's going on? What do you see? So I just kind of lay here with her and talk to her. Are you still hungry? She just ate. So after our walk this morning, she took a nap, a really long nap, ate, and now we're out here. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll take another nap, we'll eat, and then we'll do our next outdoor activity. What do you see up there? Do you see leaves? Blue sky? Hi! <laughs> do you see the airplane? I bet you hear the airplane. You're wiggly. You're wiggly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we spit up. We get a little spit up. So you always bring a burpee cloth. Yeah. Yeah. And I do always put socks on her, even though it's nice and warm out, her feet still get really chilly. What you looking at? Hmm? Hmm. What do you think? I like your pink and white striped shirt. Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, oh, it's pretty. Uh, it's very uh, pretty. I know. Oh, we got poops. Uh, oh, yeah. You talking? Do you hear your doggy? Your doggy's very loud back there. He's probably making all the neighbors mad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you having fun? Yeah. So we'll do this for about, I don't know, a half hour or so. Happy girl. So for our last newborn outdoor activity, what I like to do is bring out her bouncer. This is a Graco bouncer. It came with the pack and play that we have. I will link that down below, but I just put it up on our out outdoor table. Um, I'm sure that that is not recommended, but I'm gonna be sitting right here with her, so I'm okay with it. But yeah, we just set her out here, and this is normally around like dinner time or a little bit after. Nick and I will sit out here and have a drink or eat dinner and just let her kind of bounce around out here. Um, also, another good idea, if it's buggy out, I will take the mosquito net that I use over the stroller and actually bring that and then put it over this so that she is safe. <laughs> you don't like that sun in your face, do you? We gotta move you. I just kind of bounce her and hang out with her. She's getting a little fussy. That's okay. It's the end of the day. Yeah, it's the end of the day and we're kind of tired, right? Hi. It's okay. Those are all of the newborn outdoor activities that I love to do with summer. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in our next video.